my friends, story time with Mrs. Beth again. Hey, a big shout out to Emmett and Easton and Bryn and Emma. My friends there that I just mentioned, their dads are firefighters. Our story today is called No Dragons for Tea. Let's read it. No Dragons for Tea. One warm, sunny day at the end of last week, my mom and I went for a walk to the creek. As I raced down the hill in my little red wagon, I veered to the left and smacked into a dragon. I suppose he could see there was fear in my eyes as I jumped to my feet quite filled with surprise. He sheepishly grinned and stepped out of the way, but he seemed so polite that I asked him to play. He had a cute bear and some other toys too. With my shovel and pail, we had oodles to do. We ran to the creek and then onto the bay, where we played on the beach for the rest of the day. Then Mom waved and said, Now it's time to go eat. Let's pack the red wagon and head up the street. It's hard to stop playing with friends, old or new, so I asked if the dragon could come to eat too. Mom wrinkled her brow and squinted her eyes, looking up at the dragon's incredible eyes and his incredible size. Hmm. I begged and I pleaded, then said, very sweet, We won't make a mess. We'll be tidy and neat. So at last she said, yes, just this once I'll agree. You may have the dragon come over for tea. We had carrots and apples, thick slices of ham, with fresh homemade biscuits and strawberry jam cold glasses of milk, and a great big dill pickle. But the pepper he sprinkled sure made my nose tickle. Then the dragon's nose twitched, and he started to wheeze. Ooh, ooh, ooh. His eyes misted up, and he blew a great sneeze. Well, we all know what happens when dragons at you. Flames shot from his mouth and from both nostrils, too. Our tablecloth sparked and then burst into flame, and the curtains that hung right beside did the same. The smoke alarm rang. What a loud, piercing sound. It meant get out fast. So I dropped to the ground. The room filled with smoke as I crawled on the floor and started to make my way to the front door. The dragon got scared and decided to hide, but I knew when there's fire we must get outside. I grabbed his thick tail and with one mighty tug I pulled that big dragon from under the rug. I crept down the hallway and said, follow me, I know the way out, we must meet by the tree. So mom and the dragon and I all met there. And then that silly old dragon went back inside for his bear. We ran up and caught him and wouldn't let go and I said, listen dragon, here's what you should know, don't ever go back, that just will not do. We can get a new bear, but we can't replace you. Since the fire was burning inside our home, we went to the neighbors to borrow the phone. Mom knew what to dial and said, calm and clear. Here's our full address. Send the fire trucks here. Before very long, down our street, they came sailing with bright red lights flashing and loud sirens wailing. 
The fire crew rushed to start work on their tasks. They were dressed in big boots and wore helmets and masks. They hooked up the hose and ran into the house where they sprayed streams of water in order to douse. The table, the curtains, our lovely snack too, and it didn't take long till the fire was through. The fire chief, the fire chief called out the door with a shout. The smoke made a mess, but the fire is out. My poor friend the dragon knew he was to blame, so he hung down his head and wept great tears of shame. One of the fire crew said, Don't be sad. You knew what to do, and of that we're quite glad. You got out safely. That's really what matters. Then she took us to see the big pump truck and ladders. The dragon put on a shiny red hat, and I asked to see where the fire crew sat. She showed us the siren, the hoses and lights, and the ladders. They climbed up right higher heights, very high. The rest of the fire crew checked all the rooms, while a fan in the door blew out gray smoke and fumes. Then the dragon and I, we sat down for a while. I reached up and hugged him. He gave me a smile. The next time the dragon and I want to play, we'll pack up a picnic and we'll go to the bay. We are friends, very true, the best we can be, but I'll never again invite dragons for tea. Wow, what a neat story. Hey, my friends, I hope you remember to stop, drop, and roll if you ever get fire near you or on you. But also, my friends, if you're in your home and there's a fire or you're at someone's house and there's a fire, you got to get down and you got to get out. Make sure you have a special exit in your house and get to safety. It's very important. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the story. See you next time, my friends.